In this next topic, Tesla just added a new anti-flipper policy that can charge you up to fifteen fifty, sorry, five zero fifty thousand dollars if you try and flip a cyber truck. And if you don't know what flip means, when you buy and try and resell it immediately. So let's take a look at this. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Good for Tesla on this. If you shout out to Mike for posting this from cyberowners.com, Tesla has updated the the motor vehicle agreement and actually added a specific section for Cybertruck only. Here it is directly. We can blow this up if we want to. And it's a real one because you can actually go to the Tesla website and see it for your exact self. But here it is. You understand, we'll quote, you understand and acknowledge that the Cybertruck will first be released in limited quality, quantity. You agree that you will not sell or otherwise attempt to sell the vehicle within the first year following your vehicle's delivery date. Notwithstanding the foregoing, if you must sell the vehicle within the first year following its delivery date for any unforeseen reason, and Tesla agrees that your reason warrants an exception to the reseller policy, you agree to notify Tesla in writing and give Tesla reasonable time to purchase the vehicle from you at its sole discretion and at the purchase price listed on your final price sheet, less 25 cents mile driven, reasonable wear and tear, and the cost to repair your vehicle to Tesla's used vehicle cost cosmetic and mechanical standards. If Tesla declines to purchase your vehicle, you may then resell your vehicle to a third party only after written, receiving written consent from Tesla. You agree that in the event you breach this provision or Tesla has reasonable belief that you're about to breach this provision, Tesla may seek an injunctive relief to prevent the transfer of title of the vehicle or demand liquidated damage, damages from you in the amount of $50,000 or the value received as consideration for the sale of transfer, whichever is graded. Tesla may also refuse to sell you any future vehicles. Good for Tesla, for sure. I mean, Tesla probably knows that this Cybertruck has a lot of hype, but right now we're also entering this interesting time where there might not even be that many flippers or demands of it. Maybe in like that first month or so, because we're kind of seeing this with the Rivian right now. The initial Rivian trucks that came out were flipped. A lot of them were, and Rivians even came out and said they didn't like that. But now you can get R1Ts at pretty low prices from what they were brand new. R1S, the SUV, is still kind of going above what people have paid for, but also even increase the price as well but we can start to see that market also trending down a little bit as well but at the same time this must mean i'm taking this as this must mean that tesla is probably going to charge very very reasonable for the cyber truck i can easily see maybe the first cyber trucks because if they're this worried about flippers coming out and buying the truck and selling it reselling it immediately i bet the first cyber trucks are going to have like a purchase price or a brand new price of what, sixty to $70,000, which that would mean if it came out with the price of like $100,000, then I could see maybe not that many flippers trying to buy it and then resell it. But if it comes out like sixty to $70,000, then yes, a lot of people are going to try to reflip it. So it could get very interesting in the initial delivery time frame. But good for Tesla. They should definitely put this in because there's a lot of hype with the cyber truck and this way it keeps people that really want to buy it to stay in to be able to buy it and not the people that are just looking to make a quick buck but i've certainly certainly been excited for the cyber truck for a bit now so hopefully fingers crossed everything goes well and maybe we're one of the first ones if not uh, then we'll be patient and wait it out but we're going to jump into the live stream comments after this water break Sev, thanks for coming in. Thanks you, thank you for sending us that video. Great video that we were able to highlight. Thanks for reminding everybody as well. TK, I just heard up about the new referral that allows six months of free supercharging. I just bought the car in October. Is there a way to get a referral after purchase? TK, unfortunately, not uh, in even if even if like you took delivery and they change the programs tomorrow. Unfortunately, there's no way. But you can always get another one or try and get another one. But unfortunately, not. Sev, everyone smashed the like button. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Sev. 
But uh, congrats on everybody that just bought a Tesla or is about to buy a Tesla. Definitely check out our Tesla accessory discounts down below in the description. We got 3D Mats USA for a premium format. We have a set in our Tesla Model X. We got Vion for interior accessories. We got Jawa for the best interior accessories. And we also have Mag back as well. But thank you to everybody that's used our Tesla accessory discount codes in the future and also in the past. What else we got? I guess we got one more question from Eddie. Do you believe that there will be another $250 discount coming in the future? Yes, 100%. Uh, well, not, I shouldn't say 100%. 99.99%. I think December, they're going to release all the different incentives. They're probably going to tier it. Maybe like, I, I would say... As we get to this, I would say end of November, like third week, they're going to do something. December 1st, they're going to do something. December 15th, they're going to do something. And then like December 26th, after Christmas, with that like four to five days left, they're definitely going to throw like a Hail Mary to try and get as many sales as they can. To, well, also depending, right? If there's inventory on the ground as per our Tesla inventory charts, then if inventory is still staying at these high levels, then we could see more incentives coming out in the near future. But that's personally what I feel like is going to be happening as we close out the year. But thanks for joining in, everybody. Thanks for supporting. Don't forget, don't forget to check out our Test Logic giveaway on the channel if you're interested in winning this accessory for your Tesla Model 3 and Model Y or use promo code Dennis for a 15% off discount. Thanks for jumping in and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.